So I just picked up a free Les Paul and I wanted to share it with you because I think that's completely bonkers. It, these kind of things are incredibly rare, but sometimes people are doing a house clearance, they just want to get rid of stuff. And I have just been to Royal Tunbridge Wells um, in the south of the UK. And I know it took me a little while to get there, not too long. But um, yeah, the chap there wanted to just get rid of some old stuff, including the Les Paul, which is in here. So we'll have a look together. I've not seen this before in the in person yet because i literally just got the bag we went off and yeah here we are so you're you're experiencing this for the first time with me and we'll have a look at this guitar and see exactly what we've ended up with because i literally just put it in the car I wasn't going to ask any questions really he just wanted it gone and apparently this belonged to his son um so here we go wow look at this thing <laughs> absolutely crazy but this is what happens when you want to do a bit of house clear out isn't it this belonged to the chap's son who apparently is now more into acoustic guitar he's in his mid-30s moved out doesn't care about this old gear just wants it gone wants the room back and here we are so this is a westfield les paul I suppose style guitar and a rather nice looking thing it is too so i think we can I mean, on, I mean, looking at it, let's have a look. I mean, that looks pretty good to me. I mean, it's going to need cleaning up. I'm going to have to do a bit, little bit of fretwork, I suppose, and all that stuff. It's got tarnishing on the on the gold hardware, which is more than fair. I don't know what's gone on here with all of this, but I mean, it is what it is. I'll sort all this out, I'll change the strings and whatnot anyway. Um, Westfield's a very well-known brand in the UK, or used to be, started in Scotland. Um, I think it's East Kilbride in the 80s maybe, but I don't think they make guitars anymore, which is a great shame because they're known for making decent quality, low budget guitars. So as you can see here, we've got, uh, we have a, we have one knob which is different to the rest. That's no biggie. I'm expecting to see a few little chips and stuff on here. Um, that would be completely normal because, you know, it's just been sat there. The guy just said it's been there for sort of, you know, 20 years. So it's kind of all that, those little nicks and bits. And it really looks in pretty damn good condition. Because, I mean, I say budget, but, I mean, these still will go on the second-hand market for, I don't know, what, £150-ish, give or take, which is, I suppose, about the same equivalent in dollars or euros, second-hand. They're, they're known to be very decent Les Paul guitars. So it's absolutely super to get hold of one of these. I'm very excited about it. And I want to do plenty of things with this. I'll, I'll post a proper review and what have you after this this is kind of more first impressions but i mean i'm expect i mean he, he was also just giving it for free because he couldn't plug it in didn't have any cables for it so that's what we'll do now let's plug it in together i will try and keep you in shot here's an amplifier he wanted to get rid of that too he sold that for a fiver to me is what it is and this is a what is this um this is a sound king I think it's a 20 watt amp. Um, he said it, it managed to plug like an MP3 player or something into it, not the guitar, just to make sure that it actually did work. But the guitar is um, unknown. So we are gonna find out together right now. I've literally just got this back home. So let me flip the camera around the guitar. There we go. You can see the guitar. I'm gonna flip the amp on. Blind, this is a bit of a coordination effort. Right, so there's the amp is on. And we'll have a bit of a play with the knobs. <laughs> it's not looking too good so far. I'm not sure well, at least the treble pickup may or may not work. Let's see, let's let's fit this up because maybe it's maybe there's a bit of knob turning to be done. As I say, it's difficult to do one-handed, but we're doing our best. Okay, yes, we do actually have some sound out of that now. So here we go. There we go. It's all absolutely out of tune and they're old rusty strings okay so we do have sound and now a bit of knob twiddling i don't think we're going to get anything out of this we might we might just just giving it all a bit of a twizzle to see if we get anywhere nah okay well that's more than fair nothing on the nothing on the treble so i reckon it'd be interesting just to have a quick look in the back of this see whether there's anything that explains why the treble pickup isn't working this end of the guitar 
Um, I'm not going to spend too long on having a look inside here, but I think it'd be interesting for me and for you, I hope, to have a look in the back of this thing and see what kind of components we're working with anyway, because um, it can always be a bit eye-opening in terms of the quality of the hardware. I'm not expecting an awful lot, really, in terms of the in terms of what's in, inside here. It's probably small pots, I'm guessing, which is absolutely fine. Small pots is normal. Small pots doesn't mean bad quality, as I've you know, found out over the years. Um, small pots can be just as good. So there we go. We do have small pots indeed, as expected. The cavities, mm, you know, I mean, it's not sort of finished to absolute perfection, but it's absolutely fine. I mean, that just probably, you know, you could make that look a bit pretty if you really wanted to. Um, and in terms of any connections in here, there's nothing obviously wrong at first sight. So this might need a bit more tinkering. You can see, right, that's... Yeah, that, ooh, that pot is right up against the opening to where the um, where the connection goes through to the pickups. It's just no big deal again either. Would probably be a bit tight if you're trying to fit in larger pots though, I would have thought, into that. That might give you a bit of an issue if you're trying to get big fat alpha pots. Uh, possibly. Let's have a look. Yeah, so, I mean, it doesn't look too bad in there. There's no obvious disconnections of any cables from anything that's what I'm just checking for very briefly here but it doesn't look like there's anything obvious so I'll probably have to get the pickup off um, probably do that in another in another video and have a good look at this and you know thorough clean down and see what we've got but um yeah I mean overall it actually looks in quite nice condition and that's really rather random it looks like a little nail in there or something I don't know maybe you guys one of you you know what that might be um, if that's ooh, Oh, no, there we go. Hang on. It's actually a bit that's come off something. Oops. And it goes in there. So, um, yeah, that's what it's looking like in the back. Anyway, so not too bad. There's nothing too untoward, but not an obvious fix for that treble pickup. But, yeah, there you have it. This is what a free Les Paul kind of looks like. It's, you know, rather a unique proposition, to say the least. It's a funny old yeah, neck joint. It almost looks like it's kind of bolt-on style, but it is set neck. I suppose the only nicks are, I mean, that's got a little nick there. That's more than fair. I can patch that up probably. But that's what it looks like. That's what you get if you want to get a free one from time to time. I mean, these things hardly ever pop up. Um, but I just got lucky with the timing. You know, just look at, you know, looking at the classifieds and what have you. Any of those kind of websites and whatnot. And you never know what's going to pop up. And lo and behold, this awesome Westfield has popped up. And I couldn't be happier. So you'll be seeing plenty more of this on the channel. If you like all this content, please do like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.